Hi guys, it's your girl Idia here and I'm so excited because it's episode 2 of the Diary of a TV Girl. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that is very, very interesting. I know the women will like this one and I know that the men can learn a thing or two. Today we're talking about surviving stereotypes and I've broken uh, this topic down into four different parts. The first thing I want to talk about is surviving stereotypes in the workplace. That's right. So. A woman that is attractive or pretty or, you know, pays attention to her looks is usually seen as vain or shallow or, you know, they'll say that she's not smart. The worst one is that if a woman is attractive and, you know, she's still smart enough to get ahead in the workplace, people will say that she got where she is from dating someone superior or she got where she is because of her good looks. Come on, guys, it's 2019. Many people in the world are very good looking now. Everybody's eyes have opened and nobody wants to, you know, look like trash, basically. So you have to give people credit for their work. And I think uh, the way to survive this stereotype is by constantly working your ass I can't even express uh, how much uh, of um, a solution this is. I mean, this it's... You have to prove to people that, you know, you have what it takes to be where you are and you have to constantly keep improving and pushing yourself. Second part of surviving stereotypes in the workplace is the way women are paid. Oh my God, I've heard so many times, someone actually said once to me that, why do I want to be paid more? After all, I don't have a family. Now, assuming that somebody shouldn't be paid a certain amount of money just because they are not married or they don't have children is completely unfair. People should be paid based on what they're bringing to the table, how hard they're working. And on, and honestly, sometimes people bring a certain kind of clout to organizations or, you know, the, the, the skills that they bring are more complex than others. So I don't think that just because someone is a man, he should be paid more than a woman. And I don't think that just because someone is single, she should be paid less than someone that has a family. It's about skill set. Oh my gosh. So you can survive that by actually working your butt off. I'm proving these haters wrong. The second part of um, surviving stereotypes, guys, is surviving stereotypes online. So this one irks my soul because I'll go online and, you know, before the word slay meant a woman that dresses really nice and, you know, it was something, it was this really cool uh, cult slang that we used for girls that would wear fancy things and, you know, look beautiful, you know, all the time. And everybody knows that fashion travel things like that have a really you know big massive following online i mean it can literally change your page but now if you slay too much or you look like you have expensive things or you're very put together people will say that you have a big god or a sponsor or a sugar daddy <laughs> guys first of all sorry about that i just want to tell you that you need to do you don't change who you are don't change your page because of anybody else. The worst thing I'm seeing now is a bandwagon of women that are also, you know, bashing these women. I finally learned what it means to drink water and mind your business. So for me, um, I also think people need to stop overcompensating. So stop apologizing online, stop writing, oh my God, I traveled today, but I traveled because I, I got this plane ticket on discount from so, so, so Atlantic or so, so, so airline. You need to stop doing that. Every time you do something good for yourself, you don't have to constantly explain where it's coming from. If it's a sponsored ad, you can put out that it's a sponsored ad, but it doesn't make sense to constantly have to be proving to people you need to do you, and people also need to stop bringing other people down. So to survive any stereotype, guys, first of all, you have to have a positive mindset and you have to have focus so if you are slain on the ground because you're trying to get your page recognized you're trying to get your followers up you're trying to make money for your daily bread don't pay attention to anybody now uh the third item i want to talk about um with surviving stereotypes of course is surviving stereotypes when dating Whew. man is dating hard i think a lot of women out there can agree with me on this one when you are in a relationship, if you're too outspoken, the man will say you're unattractive. If you're not submissive enough, you know, he'll say that's why you're single or that's why your ex-boyfriend left you or whatever it is. I mean, we need to stop with all of this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being ambitious and focused. And we've had people of all ages telling women that, oh, don't drive this car. 
or don't walk too much you know it'll make a man spend less on you if you drive this car it's going to be bigger than you know this um than many men than the cars that many men drive so it's going to chase men away from you you can't not be happy and you can't not live your life because you're trying to get married or because you're trying to be in a relationship it's a recipe for disaster because down the line guess what you're going to want those things and you're still going to now probably end up in fights in your relationship or your marriage or whatever it is so honestly i think you need to first of all avoid men that have a chip on their shoulder a good man will love you exactly as you are and a good man will work hard to take care of you that's my own two cents then the third is um surviving stereotypes on a social level stereotyping has gotten to the point now that we are redefining feminism guys being feminist doesn't mean she's butch or angry or bitter or 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 you know she's a mean woman and she she just wants to put men down it has nothing to do with that feminism is founded on the principle that women deserve an equal ability to be able to get paid for their services to be able to vote to be able to be voted for so to be able to be taken seriously like in leadership positions and what not it has nothing to do with putting men down it's just about women wanting an equal voice and that's all feminism is about but you hear people today saying that oh you know a woman is manly or she's this or she's that because she's a feminist oh my god stop 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 <laughs> um and 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 I, and I think that you know we can survive that by just figuring out ways that we can be happy with who we are and um it's okay to not be you know to not have the most feminine figure it's okay to to for a woman to be more toned than another woman it's the way god made you you need to be happy with who you are don't let any man or anyone put you down and tell you that you know she's butch so she's probably like a feminist or whatever i oh it irks my soul guys uh the solution to surviving stereotypes is just be yourself, love yourself, love other people, and mind your business. Guys, that's all I have for today on surviving stereotypes. And on episode two of the Diary of a TV Girl, next week we're going to be talking about how to reach out to people online. So a lot of people want to slide into the DMs and all these things, and they're not confident enough or they don't know how to approach that person that they want to talk to. So I will tell you how uh, to send these messages in a way that people will want to talk to you and you'll get the response that you're looking for thanks guys so much for watching my video today Mwah!